these shocks always occur. Dr. Bernstein. When we least expect them. Bree, you shouldn't sneak up on people like that. So sorry. Do you have a moment? I desperately need to talk to you. Well, actually, I'm late for a lunch. Well, this won't take long. I want to ask you about my husband's therapy. I can't discuss Orson's treatment. That's confidential. Look, I am paying for these sessions. It does seem like you could throw me a bone. What sort of bone are you looking for? Well, is he progressing? Does he still want to steal from people? Mrs. Hodge, your husband has a, a great many issues. It's going to take a while for us to deal with all of them. Well, um, I need it to go faster. Have you thought of aversion therapy? Aversion therapy? I read about it in a book. You attach some electrodes to his forehead, let him steal your wallet, and then zap. You shock the sin right out of him. Mrs. Hodge, step away from my car. Doctor, please. Last week, I found my neighbor's mailbox in the trunk of my husband's car. If you think I'm letting you leave without giving me some hope, you're sadly mistaken. Perhaps you could suggest to your husband a joint session. The three of us could discuss his situation, and I wouldn't have to worry about losing my license. Set it up. I'll be there. You'd have to clear this with Orson first. Oh, don't worry. He'll uh, do what I tell him. I'm sure he will. Thank you.